Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm Scott Bernstein. Another quick hitter edition, breaking news out of New York City. Former Colombo crime family acting boss Ralph DeLeo has been released from prison after doing about 15 years. Um, the story of Ralph DeLeo is quite unique. Um, and I'll give you um, the quick Ralph DeLeo 101 in, in hopefully f- three, four minutes. Uh, DeLeo was the front boss for the Persicos um, in the late 2000s from about summer of 2008 until around Christmas 2009. What's most interesting about it was that he was a Boston guy that on paper at least was running the Colombo crime family, which was in, you know, the Persicos are are out of Brooklyn uh, from Somerville, Massachusetts, right outside of Boston. Um, he originally was a, a patriarch of crime family associate back in the 60s and 70s, uh, came up under the Angelo brothers, was very close to Jerry Angelo, the underboss of, of the patriarchs. Uh, Ralph DeLeo then um, was, a, was a bank robber, a loan shark, uh, kind of a cowboy, and um, he went to prison for a, a, a murder that he committed while on the lam in Ohio. He had escaped from prison in, um, in Boston. Uh, he was doing a a sentence for bank robbery, escaped, uh, made his way to Ohio where he was, uh, hooked up with a cellmate that had a, a farm in Ohio, a doctor that was doing some prison time, uh, in Massachusetts. And when he's on the lam in the 1970s, he meets, Another doctor through this doctor that was hiding him in, in Columbus, Ohio, who has a beef with yet another doctor um, that uh, was allegedly had uh, drugged and raped this doctor's wife. One doctor drugged and raped another doctor's wife. Um, two separate doctors from the doctor that he was uh, staying with on the farm. And um, Ralph DeLeo uh, murdered a doctor by the name of Walter Bond, uh, Halloween 1977. Bond was accused of drugging and raping another uh, physician's wife. Uh, DeLeo ends up getting caught trying to rob a bank in Columbus in the spring of 78 and flips, helps the government um, with the Bond homicide investigation, as well as debriefs for the FBI Boston office uh, giving them what he knows about the patriarchs and Angelo. Back then, you know, it, it was different. You know, uh, there wasn't twenty four seven news coverage. There wasn't the internet. Anyway, this cooperation that DeLeo gives goes under the radar. It, it is kind of unintentionally buried. Uh, you know, not buried in the sense that somebody was covering it up, but that it just, it slipped through the cracks. And uh, because of the the fact that his, um, he worried that uh, going to a Massachusetts state prison or Ohio state prison would uh, put him, put his life in danger. He convinces the government after his cooperation deal is cut to uh, go into the federal system. And within the federal system, he meets some pretty powerful New York LCN uh, figures, including uh, Colombo mob prince Alphonse, little alley boy Persico, um, who's along with his father Carmine Persico, the you know, head of that dynasty, ran the ran the Colombos for you know four four to five decades. Died in prison a couple years ago. Alley boy's probably going to die in prison as well. But uh, the Persico still, you know, they they are in full uh, control of that crime family still. Uh, 50, you know, almost 50 years later. And over the years, they've needed loyalists to, to you know, front things on their behalf. So from meeting Alley Boy, uh, DeLeo gets out of prison. Still nobody knows about what happened back in uh, Ohio in the 70s and the fact that he debriefed with the Boston guys. And he 
gets made into the Columbos in the summer of 2000, sets up a satellite crew in, in Somerville, Massachusetts. He's got activities going on uh, in New York, in Boston, in Connecticut, Florida, Arkansas. He's got a, a state out in Arkansas where he's moving dope. Uh, and then by 2008, they, uh, you know, uh, they Tommy Schatz goes to uh, gets locked up. He had been running uh, running things on the street for the Persa Coast. Uh, Tommy Gioli just got out of prison as well recently, and uh, they need a guy to to step in. And they they tap DeLeo. DeLeo is merely a figurehead. He really has no idea what's going on in terms of decision making. But he's put out there as the acting boss for about eighteen months, and within a couple months they get a wire up on him related to another investigation that dovetails and then eventually uh, comes together with the um, uh, investigation into the Columbos. But uh, he's, uh, he's talking to his sister and he's, he's telling her kind of the ins and outs of when he has to go to New York um, and preside over uh he presided over making ceremony he gets introduced around um and it, it was a real whirlwind for him he would he would come uh, home or go to his hotel room and call his sister and kind of uh decompress and and vent about how there's all these people making such a big deal about him and drawing attention to him um because everybody's got to come up and kiss him on the cheek and kind of kiss the ring uh and he was a total unknown factor nobody in new york knew him he didn't know anybody in new york outside of uh, alley boy and he, he was also connected into a, a wing of the gambinos through ernie boy abamanti but uh you know DeLeo, uh it, it's it's a very like i say very unique it was a unicorn of a situation a small slice of new york lcn uh history where you had a boston guy ostensibly running the Colombo crime family on a day-to-day -day basis for about a year and a half. But since he got locked up, it was revealed that uh, he had been an informant back in the 1970s and he's on the shelf right now. Um, I wouldn't think that he's in any danger per se. He didn't give up anybody uh, that's alive right now or active, but uh, you know, it, it isn't coming back into any role within the Columbos, but he hit a halfway house uh, about a week ago in New York city. He's 80 years old. We'll live out his final years uh in mob retirement forced mob retirement but uh, interesting story ralph DeLeo out of prison after 15 year stint had ran the colombo crime family uh throughout two, uh, 2008 and 2009 uh i will be back with more breaking news always here on the original gangsters podcast youtube channel benny behind the glass always producing me uh vip status for uh, for benny 24 7 he's the guy and uh thank you so much benny we'll be back next time scott bernstein og pot out mm -hmm.